you remember that the towns grows up and raise up. We have a lot of construction going on. And so this is what you will see now. Are there any questions about what we saw or what I can answer? I am with you 10 more yes. minutes, huh? Yes. <laughs> Uh -huh. Was it the hospital that they had inside the city large enough? It looks so enormous. Uh, yeah, the hospital was growing up all the time. You have seen, and I told you, that it is a little city inside the city. Right. Huh? It right. is a 24 hectare wide, so it's quite big. Huh? If you compare it on a map to the city center, it is half as big as the city center. Wow. The new one that they are building. The new ones are inside the old, the old area. The old one? No, no, they will not close the old one. Uh, the old one are, I would say, not. Uh, they are kept because of the patrimony, huh? because of the houses. It is quite nice, and so they they have project inside. Well, we have the old cellar. We have the wine, you know. So, well, we will see. Uh, I'm sure in a few years they will make maybe a museum or something. <laughs> we will see. So you see, um, for me, uh, Strasbourg is also a lovely city to live in. Um, you have maybe have the, the, the overview of that, huh? quite nice, not oversized, uh, not too small, you know. We are also from the geographic position, I would say it is also nice to live here. I told you I was in a lot of countries, uh, traveling a lot in my life, but I was always coming back because um, we are just, you know, surrounded by six other countries. So the crossroad, if I tell you the crossroad, it is really the name of the city, but it is also the geographic position which is meant. Yeah? So it is quite nice because if I take my car, I can go to Italy, I can go to Switzerland. Well, Switzerland is a little bit too expensive for us. Um, a cafe and espresso, I paid well, five or seven euros last time. So um, Germany, uh, Germany, we have nice exchanges today because of course we have a lot of commuters also living here, going, uh, working on the other side. We have also, a little bit further on, we have Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg, so quite lovely. What is the situation with the French people from Vienna that go work in Germany in regards to taxes? Uh, they have a, a beautiful privilege. <laughs> which is to have them. But uh, now, a day, we have even problems to find young people uh, maintaining German language in gastronomy, tourism, you know. So we try to do parity systems. In some of the schools, they have special agreements, you know, and these agreements are made with German teachers coming half um, from the week, and they speak their native language to the little girls and boys. It is from kindergarten on. So wow. it means that you don't learn a foreign language. You have Trump mm -hmm. that we will pass for the first time in history. We will have a public transportation system linking uh, Strasbourg wow. and Kiel. Yeah? So it is a new history. We grow together on the two towns, Kiel and Strasbourg, and it is not anymore a separation. So I would conclude that tour really in saying that the road you to have been here and I wish you with Elizabeth and Viking a nice cruise. Yeah? Bye bye. bye. Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> This is not the bridge over the Rhine, huh? this is a harbor or bridge, huh? but the next one will be the, the one over the Rhine.
So, just now we will uh, have the uh, mic turn to German again, uh, because we will be German, so I hope you understand my French. <laughs> voilà, borderline. Quite easy to cross uh, today. The new bridge of the tram left-hand side. Uh, the Viking docked under the European Bridge. The Mimham Bridge at the right hand side. And in front of us, the town of Kiel and the Black Forest Range. So, don't forget anything in the bus, please. Yeah, just have a look. And also take care because sometimes there are bikes coming from left and right, uh, you know, when you go down to the steps. Uh, because the sidewalk is also a bike pass. 